want to welcome to the show this afternoon from the Community Food Sharing Association, Egg Walters. Hi, Egg. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Brian. Well, it's been quite a week for you. It's been a real whirlwind, actually. Um, you started off with the uh, the fire on Tuesday, and uh, maybe you could bring us up to speed as to uh, where we are today. Well, the where we had a fire at the warehouse, and as everyone knows, I mean, all of our inventory under was was destroyed and contaminated. So. We, we never had so much as a can of soup left to, to pass out to the food banks. And uh, the public has certainly rallied around the, the cause, and uh, certainly with, with VOCM Cares, with the big food drive that you got going on with Coleman's on, on Saturday in both the locations, we're really looking forward to that. So we needed to get a, a warehouse space so we could get up and running again. And I must say the provincial government came up with the, the old... Uh, Eastern Health Building that they used to use for a kitchen in on Pippi Place. And we desperately needed that because we know there's going to be a lot of food coming in from your food drive on, on Saturday. Yeah. So we're up and running with that. And uh, Ames have, uh, are sending down a new pallet jack and a new forklift to have a, so we can have a lend of that. And there's a lot of people, you know, every, everyone's in the same boat and they're got two oars in the water. Well, it's great that the communities come together like this. And uh, when we talk about uh, people donating money, that's very important. But to get us over the hump, we also need foodstuffs, right? Yes, and this is, w- this is why it's so important that people come out and support the VUCM Cares Coleman's Food Drive on, s- on Saturday, like I say, in their two locations around town. All right. Uh, we want to bring another uh, special guest in with us uh, this afternoon, someone I know, Margot Bruce O'Connell from uh, uh, Exxon Mobil. Hi, Bernie and Hebron. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Brian. So uh, you guys have been involved with uh, the Community Food Sharing Association for a number of years because I remember a number of years ago you doing food drives. You started a food drive for them. That's right. Probably 20 years ago, Egg and I got together and had a look at his uh, warehouse in the day. I think it was Hibernia Management and Development Company at the time, and uh, recognizing that at winter time it could be fairly bare, and uh, we decided that year to have a, a food drive. Our company made it very competitive, floor against floor, and our contractors <laughs> got involved, and all the owners, Exxon Mobil, Chevron, Suncor, uh, Equinor at the time, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and we were all trying to bring in the most amount of weight, and we've had really food drives in some version uh, as an industry since then, and. Uh, so it's a, been a long-standing relationship with the Community Food Sharing Association. Now, Margo, when you heard about this fire on Tuesday, I know that your staff went right to work because you have that association with the Community Food Sharing Association. It's funny, I didn't get a chance to mention this to Egg, but I immediately started getting emails and texts from uh, lots of employees saying, not are we going to do something, but what are we going to do? And uh, so I'm really pleased to be able to announce that ExxonMobil Canada is providing $15,000 in funding to support uh, Egg and his team in uh, getting back into the business, and uh, Hibernia Management and Development Company Limited is also providing fifteen thousand dollars. So wow. I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> that's, that's an absolutely fantastic donation, you know. And, and Exxon Mobil have been for years and years and years. At least it goes back at least twenty years, supporting uh, food banks and not only food banks, but supporting a lot of charities throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. So hats off to you guys for all your help. That's Thank you. And, and in fact, uh, a lot of our employees are bringing in groceries today, so we'll deliver those to the VOCM uh, f- uh, drive tomorrow. All right. Well, that's great. $30,000, and uh, that will go a long way. Egg, we talked about how you can uh, take that money and, and turn $10 into $400. How do you do that? Well, you know, by, by, by having a warehouse, being able to accept, accept donations, you know, taking all the food in from the downtown Santa Claus Parade, from the city of St. John's food drive, and food that we can source on the mainland through Food Banks Canada. And what we do is we look at the, the total dollar amount of, of uh, food that we collected dur- during the year, and we look what it costs us to do that. And it works out that for every, every $10, actually this year, for every $10 we can, we can source and, and distribute uh, about $480 worth of food. A- and one more question. How many food banks do you supply to across the province? There's 54 food banks throughout the province, and we supply them on a demand basis. So if a food bank in St. Anthony is short and they're looking for supplies, we'll send it to them the same way as with, with the food bank in Nain. Now, there's a little difference with Nain because we have to ship up there before yeah. the, uh, the, the base freeze over, and then we ship up again in the spring after the, uh, after the, after the spring thaw. Well, we uh, are certainly looking forward to the uh, VOCM Cares food drive tomorrow, and uh, we're going to be at Coleman's locations uh, starting bright and early at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we'll be accepting your donations. Now, you can also make a cash donation at Coleman's tomorrow if you want. Of course, food, we d- we'll take that too. Margo, a final word from uh, the folks at ExxonMobil? Uh, just, you know, good on you folks for organizing the food drive tomorrow. I know how important it is, and uh, I just want to say how proud I am, I guess, of our employees and the contract community and Newfoundland and Labrador overall. Everybody really rallied for such an important 
important cause, and uh, you know, it's just it's great to see the community come together the way it has. And, and one more word, Egg. Yes, I must say, Coleman, uh, we got a call from today, and they're committing a $10,000 donation as well. Incredible. Fantastic. Incredible. All right. Well, good stuff. Egg Walters from the Community Food Sharing Association, Margot Bruce O'Connell from ExxonMobil Canada. Thank you both for coming in today.